Yo guys, what is up? How you doing? Kazi back here with yet another Zero video. This one is for Friday, December the 11th. Uh, Zero is here in the tower. By the way, are you guys enjoying this Sparrow Racing League? I've done it already the whole way through on two of my characters. I haven't done it on this character yet. That's actually why I'm on this character. Um, but I'm liking it. I hope you guys are too. It's a lot of fun. It really is. But anyway, Zero is here. He's down here by the PvP vendors. His items for this week, just go quickly over that stuff. He's got the Helm of Inmost Light, the Radiant Dance Machines, the Nothing Manacles, and the Monte Carlo with uh, Legacy Ingram being primary. So again, as always, don't buy this unless you want your one shit. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna quickly go over this uh, over these items. I'm also gonna make you uh, one little make one little note for you guys. Buy as many of these as you possibly can if you like to do PvP. Because if you didn't read the patch notes, PvP, doing PvP matches, can now give you three of coins rewards. It procs three of coins, all the same as doing a strike. And I think that's an awesome direction that Bungie has taken. I'm really happy that they did this. So now there is a, a PvP way to farm all of these exotics that are super useful. So I'm actually going to go ahead and quickly pull my... Strange coins off of my other characters real quick. There's one and there's two. If you wonder how that happened, that's a Destiny item manager. You look that up, but back to the items. So we have the Helm of Inmost Light for Titans. Uh, the roll on this one, I mean, strength is never really good, but the number is okay. Um... It's got uh, hands-on, which is uh, gain bonus super energy for melee kills. Mm, not 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 the best. And then you gain bonus super energy for heavy weapon kills. Uh, it's okay. Uh, ideally, you want primary or or just chill, just kills in general. Um, and then you have invigoration, also not good. So the roll on this thing is not good. The helmet itself is also very lacking. So I really don't see any reason to pick this up whatsoever. Um, if you're a collector, sure, but other than that, no. Radiant Dance Machines have made a reappearance from year one. And Radiant Dance Machines, if you're unaware, uh, they allow you to move more quickly while aiming down the site. So, the, the perk on this is subjectively good. I mean, a lot of people have passed this up for, for things that are significantly better um, on the Hunter. I mean, I prefer using uh, Young Ahamkara's Spine on my Hunter because I like to go Gunslinger. Uh, if you went Night Stalker, you'd be better off with Sealed Ahamkara's Grasp for the double melee and get a double smoke bomb. Um, and if you went Blade Dancer, you could do Mask of the Third Man. You could do a lot of other things. But I don't think I would be caught dead with these things. Um, if you're looking for an exotic, they're not terrible. At least they'll give you a, a perk for all of your classes. So if, if one of your subclasses you feel like doesn't really have that exotic that you really want to stick to yet, you know, there's that's good for that. Um, but... Not something I would go out of your way for. If you don't have them and you want to collect them, again, that's really what I would go for. But he's got the nothing manacles and pure fucking discipline. Great. I, I don't know if that's by design. That might or might not be. Um, but pure fucking discipline is, is what you want for sure. Also, energy projection and uh, momentum transfer. I would go with energy projection. Great perk to have. Hand cannon loader and rocket launcher. I mean, hand cannons are now okay because of the, the patch that happened this week. Um, and also rocket launcher loader may or may not help you. Ideally, you would be using these for PvP. Uh, that's really where these shine. I really wouldn't try to use these in PvE, but they're not bad. Um, the only downside is you do have to go Voidwalker, but then you have the upside of being able to go Blink if you want because Blink still fucks people up if you practice with it. Um, but... You know, I mean, nothing manacles coming back. If you're going to pick anything for for a Voidwalker uh, Warlock, I would for sure go with the nothing manacles. For sure. And the, the roll on it as it stands is really good. Also, it's got intellect on it, which is which is also really good. Um, but yeah, I would definitely go max discipline with this so you can really take advantage of uh, having two... Grenades. I, I forgot to mention this part. The bonus on this thing is that you get uh, an enhanced, I'm sorry, a um, an extra scatter grenade 
and there's tracking on it. Now, they, they did nerf it a little bit in the patch, but I still see scatter grenades doing really well, and you get two of them. So these things are a menace. The alternative is you could go um, with Void Fang Vestments, and then you could do Axion Bolt. But I feel like this is a lot more of an immediate investment. You can easily run away from Axion Bolt. This this is a this is a nightmare for, for a lot of people in PvP. So I definitely picked those up. Monte Carlo is the the weapon, the alternative for this week. It wasn't uh, Ingram again. I, are Ingrams ever going to come back? But uh, this gun is hit or miss. The pulse rifle, or sorry, not pulse rifle, auto rifle buff that they had uh, that just came out. It's okay. Uh, auto rifles are not as king as, as everyone thought they were going to be. And even then, I would probably use a Suros regime instead. Again, this one comes down to if you don't have an exotic, it's it's good to pick this up. It's not a bad pulse rifle. Um, I mean, you want something with a, a lower magazine size, higher stability, and like an okay impact. That's really what you should be aiming for. Um, the problem is that the range on this gun, especially compared to other auto rifles, does fall kind of short. And it can be a little unstable at times. So if you do pick this up, uh, I would probably go with send it so you get that increased range so you're not getting screwed over. This is definitely uh, a PvP type weapon, but you can find some success with it in PvE. So there's that. Uh, you also get the hip fire part of it. Not not the best. Um, and then the Monte Carlo method is the uh, the thing that they're, they're, Monte Carlo is used for. Uh, dealing damage with this weapon reduces your melee cooldown and grants a chance to fully charge your melee ability with each kill. Um, useful if you want to run, say, Voidwalker. You pair this with um, with Sealed Omicron's Grasp, and you could be talking a shit ton of smoke bombs, and that can really fuck with people in PvP. So there's that. Uh, but other than that, I mean, I would never use this as I would never use this as a Titan. Um, I would much rather a Soros regime, and I don't know that I would as a Warlock either. The Warlock does have good melee, but um, but yeah, like I said, look, buy as many of these fucking things as you can. Go play a bunch of PvP. Do it. You can also, if you like Sparrow Racing, use these every time you enter a race. You see how many I'm buying? Every time you enter a race, use one of these. Every time. But um, it's going to do it. I'm going to just keep buying these for the rest of the video. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I uh, hope this has been helpful for you. I hope that um, hope you get something good from the Three of Coins since nothing else is good. But uh, I will see you guys later. I'm going to be working on probably some more weapon reviews in the near future. Um, just got the Suros PDX 45 one out there. You should check that one out. But that being said, if you guys thought this video was good, leave a like. If you liked it, leave a dislike if you didn't like it. Subscribe for more Destiny content. And as always, I will see you guys later, and I hope you have a good day.